Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here. Hagar, you're in... Ah, greeting. Mostly lies, I bet. Ah, if it's a lie that since her youngest years you've been her friend and mentor, then indeed. She is a bold-faced liar. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. We'd have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage. Yes, for... wouldn't want Valdo to have anything. What's eating him? Oh, don't worry. That's just how Agar is. Be back to his jolly old self by evening. What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared. Ah, oh, pish posh. What? This is for you. All that you loan. Siri. And you know I shan't. <laughs> of course. Then I. No thanks. Not up to it today. Ah, for every ache of body and soul, there's no better remedy than Kedweni Golden. Isn't that right, Siri? As rain. <laughs> Stay with us. Bonfires to be lit soon around which all will gather. This night shall be ours. You know, perhaps it's not my concern, but I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. <laughs> Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So, what was it like? You know, when the wish lost its hold? What did you feel? Hmm. Well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... and felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be, at long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Something worrying you now? What awaits us? Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the larger support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Meaning? Ordinary. Your life is yours exclusively. You choose who you are. Now, Geralt, you know that's never been true. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. to meet all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands, not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. The sooner you get rid of that illusion, the better. And what do you mean? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. 
I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. I'd rather know how you fared with the merchant. Managed to get some horses? Ha! <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Gotta be another way to solve this. Just so happens I got some coin I could lend you. We'd have no way to repay you. Wouldn't have to. Shame the Emperor doesn't have another daughter. We could buy all the horses in Novigrad. A generous offer, but not one to resolve this situation. The merchant didn't object to our coin. He objected to us. I'll not trade with such scum. I believe those were his words. And if he'll not trade, we've no choice but to steal from him. No, doesn't seem like the best idea. Geralt, stop fussing. We'll not strip the merchant bear. And it's finally a chance to do something other than run from the wild hunt. Don't make us beg. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. Agar, keep a lookout. Siri and I'll try to get inside. All right. Wait here. I'll go inside. Open the door for you. Just keep the noise down. Locked. Gotta find another way in. the two fools who tried to chase us. Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt.
Another drifter in from Tamaria. Got a minute? Of course. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. Hmm. <laughs> Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. So why'd you return? <laughs> it was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's... nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalark claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please. Whenever I please. So, need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. Ask away. The thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere once it's over. Someplace picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. You've been almost everywhere. Also know Yen well. Any ideas? thinking Spala, or maybe Dolblathana. The first roadside inn you pass, take her there. Pay for a month in advance, carve do not disturb into the room door, and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. I should go. All right, we'll talk later. your mind? You went after Imlarith by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? Shouldn't have. I'm sorry. It ended well, luckily. But it didn't have to. I know. But Imlarith's gone. That's what matters. Besides, I was there the whole time. I had the situation under control. Mind if we change the subject? Past burning pyres on the way into town. Non-humans on them. Things grow worse by the day. No mage is left in the city, so the hunters had to find someone else to victimize. We need to resolve everything as quickly as possible and leave Novigrad. Any success with the lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Frangilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira? Margarita? Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people would know. Few can refuse a sorceress. And Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that, as she needed the impetus to start anew. She found it, where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita.
don't know where they are. Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. Know what Yen's found out? You'll need to ask her. I've been busy trying to find Philippa. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Loch Muin, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur de Vleister. Philippa and a former lover? Something tells me happily ever after is not how that story ends. Philippa had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed and he placed a dimeridium band on her leg. The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. Just so happened a certain dwarven acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Zoltan. Huh. So Philippa was here under our noses the whole time? Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Kidding, right? Sadly, no. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's Feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilege. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. One outside the Passiflora could work. Good idea. Let's go. We're here. Nice and quiet. Shouldn't be any disturbances. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. We can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham, et fuir. Robert McKelly, al felte. Graham, et fuir. Diagnis Kerle, as Pirchena, a et clase. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her at his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. Was that the past or the future? The recent past. We have to hurry. Let's go to the bathhouse. Might not be too late. Come on. I hope we get there in time. I hope Dijkstra hasn't already hurt her. The possibilities are many. Could be Dijkstra that got hurt. Not likely. Dijkstra never forgave her for sending assassins after him. And Philip is weakened, no doubt about it. Weakened, maybe, but still a powerful sorceress. If Dijkstra's men take the Dimeridium off, Philip will kill them before they can say, oh shit. Guess they underestimated Philippa. You were right. We have to get inside. Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! We're going together. Not a chance. It's fine, Geralt. I'll stay. In case she tries to flee this way. Fine. 
Be right back. Like she just ate a hundred old drowners. But no one. Drowner make egg very bad. Let me pass. I can help her. But let pass go. With your help. I want to help you. Let me die. Don't hold your breath. Gotta be kidding me. 
kidding me? dead by now. Oh, what do you want? To torment me? To watch others do so? I need your help. Betray me, and I will... Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything. Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt, but Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. I remember you, little Bond, but this is no time for a lover's quarrel. But it's an excellent time to settle a score. Philippa will come with me and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. Always knew the value of information, Dijkstra. Which is why I don't believe you have anything I don't already know. The Emperor of Nilfgaard wasn't able to sway the Trade Corporation. Opposition nibbling at his ass, eh? Hmm. Seems the White Flame won't dance on the graves of his foes much longer. His daughter has returned. The Emperor wants to abdicate, give her the throne. Cyrilla? Impossible. This... This could shift the tide of war. Provided, of course, you're not mistaken. himself told me. So, information's first-hand. Emir's a lying whore. When it comes to his daughter's future, doubt it. You've no idea of the importance of this information. A change on the Imperial throne could bring the war to an end. Radovid's sure to be delighted. If Emir sounds the retreat, there'll be no force left that could possibly stop that madman. Especially in light of our bloody aborted plan. You didn't actually believe you could do it. Radovid's crazy, but he's no idiot. Knows all too well there are dozens out there who- Silence. Do I understand you correctly? You want to kill Radovid? <laughs> well, Siggy, I am impressed. Doubted you still had it in you, frankly. 
Sadly, as you well know, Radovid has sought refuge on his boat. He's guarded so closely, I'd not be at all surprised to learn he shares his bed each night with two sentries. You know too much, Phil. Yet one more reason why you must die. I think you might want to hear her out. Dare say Philippa despises Radovid at least as much as you do. I'm content someone apart from myself has finally gotten the idea to rid the world of the degenerate. Save your praise for others. I couldn't give a shit. Currently, only two individuals stand to draw Radovid off his boat. Emir and myself. You'd agree to be the bait? I fear you'd be hard-pressed to convince Emir to dangle himself as such. Fat fucking chance. Geralt, I wouldn't trust this cunt to hard-boil my eggs. Rightly so, I'm terrible with eggs. But think on this. Radovid hears that you've captured me. Will he not throw caution to the wind? Will he not jump at the chance to kill me, personally, with his bare hands? Out of the question! Geralt, get her out of here before I burst her testicle! And then... Then we must meet. With our friends. I've leased a warehouse port side. Be sure to come. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you alright? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be alright? Yeah, thanks for your help. Your kind spreads disease, defeatism and desertion. What's 
what's left to think about? Shackle the horse He was out to murder me! Liar! Would Pandes on me, Dan, then? They told me! Avoid doing business with war with scum! Stunted bricks always cheat! But, Dan! Because you lend the beast in there! Because me bales of silk are driving your mind! Who said? Witcher Geralt! Get in here! Boss awaits upstairs! Can you bloody tell us what this is about? Just as soon as Geralt arrives. You won't plow it at all. Least you can do is pour around. Bloody suspense has made my throat dry. Witcher, at last. Now, we're all present. Uh, and up the fucking creek. Why have you summoned us? Radovid's on his ship. We'll not get to him there, I've told you. Stop it. I've an idea how to draw him onto dry land. But all in due course. Let's start by confessing our sins. I let Philippa Eilhart in on our plan. Mea culpa. Bravo. Bloody bravo. Now, now. It's not a disaster. The Lady Sorceress is highly unlikely to warn the brat. What's more, she's willing to help us kill him. Naturally, it's nothing I'll ever agree to. But Phil, she's inspired me. Call her my muse. Inspired you to do what? Patience. We've yet to get to the substance of the matter. Geralt, do I recall correctly that Radovitz hired you to find Philippa? Mm -hmm. Only thing I've found is her hideout. What's your point? We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. Radovid expects you to report to him, bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name, intimate that you've a lead, you're on her trail. Oh, he'll swallow that. Hook, line, sinker, and a good bit of the rod as well. Let's say Radovid bites, believes me, and none of that's a given. What then? You'll tell him you've found Philippa's hideout. Somewhere where we can easily set a trap and ambush. Suggestions? Ridge to Temple Isle. Built up both sides. Lots of nooks, gates. Easy to block off from the rest of the city. Good idea. I'll divide my men. Post half on one end, other half on the other, by the gate. And in the middle, Vess, with a well-oiled crossbow. You see, Geralt, all we ask is that you invite Radovid out for a stroll, bring him to the bridge. We'll take care of the rest. So what'll it be? I'm in. But once it's done, what then? There'll be an uproar in the city. Panic, maybe. Need a place where we can wait it out. Thought of that already. Remember Madame Arena's theatre? Abandoned now, not a soul looks in there. Tala and I will await you there. Await us? Unwilling to risk your own necks? Not the point. Deekstra and I have many cocksucking virtues, but fighting ability is just not one of them. Not as fit for that as we are for a bleeding beauty pageant. Don't worry, Geralt. My people are battle-hardened. They'll manage. You just bring them the king. Do what I can. Where's his ship moored these days? Just round the corner, in Novograd's port. And for your sake, I hope he's in a good mood when you look in on him. The bridge must be clear. My lads will make sure of that. Guards round the temple, what about them? Won't they bloody congregate when they see the fight? If they're paid a tidy sum, they won't. Philippa? What the hell are you doing here? Geralt, don't ask questions you know the answers to. It makes you look stupid. Eavesdropping on your conversation, naturally. With a good deal of interest. And a measure of wonder. Mind telling me what you found puzzling? Your naivety. Do you honestly believe Radovid will fall for such a crude ruse?
might be tough to trick, but I think I'll manage. Hmm. I hope you take a more serious approach to confronting the Wild Hunt. Provided, of course, you survive long enough to undertake it. Philippa, why even tell me this? Concerned about me that much? Not at all. It's because I think it vital that Radovid die. You don't want my help, more's the pity. But I shall do what I can to make certain you don't fuck it up. Here, take this. A ring. Redanian eagle etched in the ruby. It belonged to Vizimir, Radovid's father. Hand him that, and he may believe you captured me. He might even choose to trust you. What's the catch? There is none. Philippa, I know you too damn well. Always got a plan. Always got at least two irons in the fire. This time I shall be content with one. Radovid's head planted at its end. Good luck, Geralt. You'll need it. Witcher Geralt, what do you want? An audience. Got new information about Philippa Eilhart. I'll need your weapons. Now follow me. Your Majesty, the Witcher, with news of Philippa Eilhart. I hope you brought something better than magic crystals this time. I know where she is. Perhaps. Or perhaps you seek to trick me, like the others. What others? Uh, you see, a rumor went around that I'd generously reward any who bring information about Eilhart. There's no shortage of the greedy and the stupid, so a queue quickly formed at the gangway to the ship. The first aboard was a hunter, Brought me a dead owl with no eyes. He thought I'd believe it. Shower him with gold. I had him blinded, then thrown overboard with a stone tied round his neck. The second was the postmaster from Oxenfurt. Claimed to have a letter she'd penned. It was forged, of course. I had his fingers cut off. He'll never write again. Oh, and I took his tongue. The spoken lie is just as reprehensible. Needless to say, the rest of the queue dispersed quickly. I'm a professional. Got a reputation to uphold. Be stupid of me to come to you empty-handed. My father's ring. Philippa used it to stamp her decrees, then distribute them as the word of the king. Where is she? Under your nose, sire. In Novigrad, in a house on the bridge leading to Temple Isle. Why haven't you brought her to me? Gotta capture someone to take them anywhere. All I did was track her down, then stole this ring as proof that I had. Do you fear her? No. You want to kill her yourself. With your own hands. I know this. You shall come with me. 
Hubrecht, gather the men. How many, sire? All of them. Well, where is she? Where is Philippa? Like I said, house on the bridge, closer to the other end. Close off this end. We need no guests, no innocent bystanders, or witnesses. Damian, Duke, Egbert, Freak, Kaspar. You shall stay here, secure the rear, and kill the Witcher. You don't know where Philip is hiding. Not exactly without me. Fret not. We'll manage. Naturally, it would be easier with your help, but you irritate me. You know too much. You impede me too often. And I find your arrogance an annoyance. I've had men killed for less. Follow me. Any last words? Oh, fuck! Free the Witcher, then run of it! Get to Radovid before reinforcements arrive.
last words. Open up! I command you to open the door! You needed merely to ask. That settles the score. And that was from the heart. Forgive me. I could not deny myself the pleasure. How did she... Where? Why? How the fuck? Eavesdropped on us, back at the warehouse. What? And you didn't think it worth mentioning? Lads, the time to discuss this is later. Bradovid is dead. It matters not by whose hand. Mission accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. Let's go. Well, what? Is it done? It's done. Though all did not go according to plan. More on that later. First, a stiff drink and a toast. The North. Tamaria. Tamaria! Bloody Tamaria! Sure this isn't premature. Radovid's dead, but it's a long way from that to a free Tamaria. War's not over, not even close. You're mistaken. Tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes. I was returning from the last round of talks. Amir will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovich's head and a stop to guerrilla activities, he will withdraw from Tamaria. Which will become the Empire's vassal state. Self-ruled internally, with its own courts, administrative structures and army. 
The silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. So I'd say were I a poet. But I'm not. So all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. Haven't told me the whole truth. You're right on that account. We know you're bloody allergic to politics. Decided to emphasize mages and whatnot. If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. What's that? Vakmeth, Act 1, Scene 7. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. Geralt, what Tala told you, put it out of your mind. There will be no truce with Nilfgaard. Redania, under my enlightened rule, will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Temeria. What? Ow! This is not what we plow and agreed. True. Instead, we insisted on one realm's questionable sovereignty, and to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms. It was not a wise arrangement. So, no deal. You two-faced horseman. I will not allow this. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand I've no choice. Why the hell would I understand? Because you two are a patriot. Geralt, this doesn't concern you. You may go. Fare thee well on your path, or what not. Can't let you kill them, Dijkstra. Oh, hard luck. Then you'll die with them. Kill them all. Shut up and fight. Surrender. Bloody hell! Bugger me sideways! That was close. Very close. It's hardly over. The envoy, due to meet the Nilf Guardians tomorrow. No doubt Dijkstra ordered him killed. We'll need to protect him. Sorry, you're on your own. I've... You've had your fill of politics, I understand. Once it's over, come to Vizima. You'll be received with honors. Farewell, Wolf.
Redanian soldier boys are so tiresome. They want it all for free. <laughs> Buy you a drink? I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlarith, was that your idea or series? Series. As I thought. I'm glad you went with her. I thought you'd be angry. Angry? Why? Because you supported Ciri in her decision? Or because you fought by her side and won? What if we'd lost? We wouldn't be having this conversation. And the female part of the continent's population would be drowning in tears. You won. No point bothering with what ifs. Talk to Triss. Reconvening the Lodge? It's not going so well. Dangerous times. Especially for sorceresses. Each thinks five times before sticking her neck out, and I can't blame them. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? You'll find out soon. In the meantime, tell me about Philippa. Triss and I found her and freed her. It turned out Dijkstra had her, but the situation's under control. That's a relief. So, gonna tell me why you're here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, the prison in Oxenvert. I also learned the identity of the man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Abbe Faria? Who's asking? We'd like to talk. Damn! Best run and get him. Why is your air so great, Dad? Humans for a while to buy the day. Honor in the fatherland. Watch where you're going, eh? Thought you'd agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be. Calm down. We just want to chat. Uh -huh. And then stick a shift between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. No, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... you shan't hurt me? No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, well, so be it. But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll, they'll lock you up lickety split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. They say no one gets out of Derard alive. Aye, oh, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they dropped the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. So you played dead. No one caught on? As a youth, I'd apprentice with an apothecary in Silverton. Learned a thing or two about herbs. Sleeping mushrooms grew on the walls of my cell. And I found Belladonna in the prison yard. 
Just had to mash them together and eat the pulp an hour before evening rounds. You might have lost your life. I prefer to die on my own terms were that to be my fate. They say Dayron's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. They choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs. Rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they do to folk. Torture every day. The wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays, where they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? Oh, not officially, but you know how it is. So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If we can find a way into the ruins... We'll get into the prison. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What he said about the guards could prove handy. True. Things will go more smoothly if we can get even a few of them drunk. Zoltan ought to manage it. I'll ask him. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. I want it all for free. Exercising witches. Margarita at Dayrod. Got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakaman as you can find and drive it to Oxenford. Jennifer will give the signal. He'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Oh, these are terrible times. Since the mage has left town, the hunters have taken to harassing non-humans. A dwarf lingering around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. God, the reapers come for me.
bloody a trap for crying out. Learned all the easy to find witches already. Oh! Nothing you What's the rush? Feisty, eh? Find a way in. Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? We'll manage on our own. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Sure the guards don't know about the passage through the ruins? Haven't planted sentries there? They haven't. How can you be sure? Novigrad's hierarchs have taken great care to eradicate any and all memories of the city's elven roots. Even if anyone remembers the ruins are there, they have no recollection of how far and where they extend. And I'm absolutely certain no one's thought to place sentries there. Hope you're right. Here we are. This is it? Hmm. Polder was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hemelfart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers-by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. Not coming? Mucking through ruins and sewers? I'd rather leave it to the expert. Meaning you'd rather waltz in once the hard work's done. Wet clothes. Oh, joy. This is it. This is it. Seems this one liked Elven stuff.
Mechanism's broken. Missing a piece. Replace it with something else, maybe? This will come in handy. That ought to do it. Wall looks brittle. in here. brittle. Looks brittle.
Vaughn looks for it. <sighs> Rakes in here. Not good. Who's that? Geralt? God, I'm hallucinating. Getting you out of here. It's pointless. He'll never open it without the key. The warden keeps them with him at all times. His room is upstairs. Be right back.
What are you doing? Yen insisted on coming. Rita, what have they done? When I get my hands on those whoresons... I'll gladly help, if I live to see it. I must take her from here, immediately. I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Don't like portals anyway. Go.
kitchen. Beware, freak. <sighs> Yes, Geralt? Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. I think it's a soldier. We'll know soon enough. Come with me. I know a place where the walls don't have ears. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Place is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try to decompress this one. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Be quiet and try not to disturb me. Last thing you remember? I remember a hill. A battle. I had orders for a unit. I remember a sorceress. Her hair like flames. She cast a spell. The right flank was to attack. Hit the shield bearers. The right flank didn't attack. And the sorceress was lit a nade, known also as Coral. I was there too. This... this happened long ago. She said it. You're exhausted. Always happens with compression. Get some rest. Yes, I should. Once you've recovered a bit, you should find Ambassador Varatra. He's sure to help. Good luck. That was... interesting. And exhausting. Oh, to fall onto a feather bed and sleep till... Well, till I woke. Oh, 
It's like a racehorse. Yes, Geralt? You, uh, holding up all right? Uh, it'll be a hard slog for everyone. You know what I mean. What am I supposed to say? I mean, I knew you and Yennefer... ...that you'd end up back together. It was a lost cause. Always. I guess so. I just don't want you to... Can we not dwell on it? I need to focus on other things now. Right. Understood. So long, Triss. Geralt! What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. They say about what? No, but I have my suspicions. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Mm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. No equality in the Lodge? That's garbage. Some have always taken the reins, while others politely nodded. A wise and capable sorceress finds the role, the position that best suits her. And yours should be supreme. You deserve to lead. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalarch for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him, I don't trust you, but that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port. So? I don't know. I don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk.
eternal flame will burn away our sins. I serve the eternal fire. Hey there, handsome. Ed, can we fix it for you? No. Sit on come to the room. Good of you to come by. What can I... Need some harm. Take care now. Geralt! Good... What are you selling?
take care now. What are you selling? Take care now. Use some hair of the hound. Got a vodka. Witcher. 